Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about Task Parallel Library in C Sharp. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Alright, TPL stands for Task Parallel Library in C Sharp. It's a set of classes and APIs provided by the .NET framework to simplify the process of writing parallel and asynchronous code. TPL makes it easier for developers to take advantage of multi-core processors and write code that can perform tasks concurrently, improving the performance of their applications. The concept in TPL is the task class which represents an asynchronous operation that can run concurrently with other tasks. Developers can use tasks to parallelize operations, manage asynchronous operations and compose uh, complex asynchronous workflows. TPL provides various features and constructs for managing tasks such as parallel loops, the async and await keywords for asynchronous programming and methods for coordinating multiple tasks like task.whenAll and task.whenAny. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Now, so first we add name spaces, then we create task creation with return values. Here's example. After that, we will wait for task completion. So here's example for that. After that, we will create task continuations. Continue with is used to specify a continuation task that should run after the completion of the previous task. It allows you to create a chain of tasks where one task completion triggers the execution of another task. By default, continue with does not wait for the previous task to complete. Instead, as started run running as soon as the previous task finish regardless of whether the previous task was successful or encountered an exception this behavior is often referred to as fire and forget so here's except explanation so when you create task 4 with a continuation on task 3 the continuation task task 4 will wait until the task 3 completes before it is start executing so task 4 will not start until task 3 has finished its execution task 3 is created and started with task dot run uh, the task 4 is created as continuation of task 3 using the continue with method since task 3 is already started before task 4 is created task 4 will wait for task 3 to complete before it starts its execution once task 3 completes in this case when it returns the value 42 task 4 will execute its code after they write this code, task factory dot start new create and start a task in one operation. So here's example. After that, the next step is detach child task. There is no synchronization between the parent task and the child task. The parent task doesn't wait for the detached child task to finish. So here's example. The next step is attach child task by specifying attach to parent option. So here's example. This is the output. The next step is task exception. Exceptions are propagated when you use task.wait methods and you handle them by adding task.wait in a try and catch statement. Exception type is aggregate exception. So here's example. So this is the display we will be expecting. The next step is attach child task exception by accessing inner exception. So here's example. And this will be the following output. The last step is async state. So by using async state and cast it through the relevant type, you can get the data from task. So here's the example and this will be the expected output. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned the task parallel library in C Sharp. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.